In my mind, this works best when we share it. And I don't mean you have to all share out loud. But share with the neighbor next to you. Share with somebody maybe that you didn't come with or somebody that you're not as connected with in your team of people. Share it with somebody. Either the wand or the love or the feel, whichever one really kind of sprung out to you is like the main purpose, the main reason you accidentally showed up here. And right, share that with them. And that way the manifestation just kind of comes a little bit more alive. It becomes more real when we share it and we put words to it and tone to it. When we have an accountability partner. So just share it. So take a little minute and we'll have another song. We'll share it. So did anybody have one really big ask? Something they really want to make sure comes true. Big trip to Spain. Yes. Come on up. Sista. Yeah, you do. We're live on Facebook. They want to know you. The people of faces want to know you. <laughs> okay. I want self-worth. That's huge. That's huge. Yeah. That's big. Yeah. It's major. Thank you for helping me. I love you. Find that. I'm so Thank proud you. of you. Thank That's you. huge. Anybody else? Anybody else have a somebody else's hand went up. Come on, sweet girl. I'm here for you. It's okay. I'll hold you. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? What really stood out to you? What had you? Uh, what of emotionally hit you? What emotionally hit you? <sighs> I want to shine again. Yeah. I want to shine. I want that that light that I had for so long. I want that back. Yeah. And you. Don't eat you. Isn't that great? <laughs> hate it when people want to shine, right? I just hate it. I don't want to be a possum anymore. I want to shine. I don't want to be in control. I want to shine. Like for the longest time, I was that person. I would walk in and I'd be like, I'm here. And then I became that person and I was like, I'm here. You know? Yeah. And I want to be that person again. You can. You can. Yeah, absolutely. And it's all, it's all, it all boils down to coping skills. It all boils down to like the survival mechanisms that we live in. The space where we go to when, when we're in a shit storm. We find ourselves in that fetal position or on the back of the horse screaming at the top of our lungs. The horse thing really got me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's scary back there. It's fucking yeah, scary back there. I was riding there. that horse being screamed at to let go for a long time. Yeah. yeah. And it's hard to let go because it's <laughs> control. When we're in control, it feels like we're in control. feels like it's so much easier. But actually, when you let go, the possibilities open up. Shit changes. Shifts happen. Like it's just crazy when you finally open yourself up and let go of that control mechanism. And it's so hard because it seems so obvious that if I hold on, I can I can fix the situation. Yeah. But instead, shine, girl. It's so much more fun on the shiny side. <laughs> so much more fun. I love, you. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> Anybody else have a confession they want to make? Just kidding. Does anybody else? Yeah, come on. Go, Carol. Go, Carol. It's birthday. It's actually, she's not one of the birthday girls, ironically. <laughs> but it's taken me a lot to come up here because I'm not I know. usually I'm one so of these. I know. I'm so proud of you. But, you know, a few weeks ago, I was telling you, you we've been talking about me switching jobs because she told me my job was, basically eating my fucking soul. And, uh, <laughs> I, I was nicer about it. For 10 years, and I've been unhappy, but I got not comfortable. It was what I knew, I got comfortable. And I applied, and I got my job at City of Aurora. I just started on Monday, new career, new chapter in my life. So, I love it, I love it. But it was Thank with you. her encouragement to help me. Good. To go Thank you for sharing that. That's awesome. I'll do one last victim if anybody wants up here. Anybody? We feeling good? Jen, your face has that like, uh-huh. You don't have to. It's okay. I'm not, you, you don't have to be brave. That's fine. Thanks for those of you who came. You're brave. I love you. You're always brave. Well, mine is more of like a, like I 
I've got the good job. I've got right. The good it doesn't have to look like everybody else's, sweetie. Right. That's the ego that says it has to look like everybody else's. No, I want to travel and do art. Like, Freedom. I, I picked the wrong major. I should right. have done art, but I didn't believe in myself. And don't shit on yourself. It's okay. You, right. so you did it. Like, so I can still do that. Yeah. Even I'm working a full time job and like pretending I'm an accidental psychic on the side. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Unequivocally, without a shadow of a doubt. Right. Yeah. That's what I yeah. Do, it makes me you even get to drink wine nowadays. You can go to right. one of those painting places and they give you alcohol <laughs> and you can do art. It's two of my great things. Right. You're they right. have like travel camps where you can travel and drink and do art too. Right. Leave the kids, no big deal. Right. Yes, okay. I'll help. So I don't get to do that because I think, oh, I don't have time for that. I shouldn't allow myself to do that, or I'm not mm -hmm. good enough to do yeah. it. But yeah, we should all over ourselves. Happy, so we just do yeah. It. yeah, yeah. We don't need to shut on ourselves about it or feel bad if it doesn't happen next week. But like, right. let's say when your kids are doing their art project, maybe do art like they do instead of taking it so seriously and like being Picasso because you don't have to be. Because nobody's judging it, and nobody's going to make sure that it's perfect, and nobody's going to buy it. Maybe just paint like they do, their fingers and their toes, and get messy with it, and just play with it and have fun. Because art comes from that place of spirit. It comes from that joyful center. It, I mean, that's your spirit. Dancing is my spirit. That's my spirit animal, dancing. Because for me, it gets my body moving. It gets me out of my head. Anytime I need my baseline and I need to clear, I go to dance. It makes me happy, but it mostly it centers me. It is probably very meditative for you as well. And it gives you space to actually get with you. Because that's what's missing sometimes. Sometimes we feel so burnt out in our lives because we're so detached from the, from the me or from the you that we really are. And so it's getting back to those, those seconds where we knew we were happy, where we shined. Where did you shine? How did it make you feel? And how can you invent it in your now life? We can't sometimes go back and undo the things that are currently in our lives. We have to work with what we have. But we can still be and do anything we want, frankly. Yes, Allie. Yeah, I come Please. You guys, this is just a new dear friend of mine, so I'm so grateful you're here. Hi. OK, so this is really weird, because I want stability. So weird for you. It's so weird. <laughs> How does it feel, though? How does that really feel? Uncomfortable. It feels like I'm going to be boring. Right? I know that. I know what you're saying. I totally hear I'm you. Like, but maybe I just want stability because you haven't practiced it before. I don't. I don't know. It feels really weird. <laughs> like maybe it's the safe answer. I don't want the safe answer. I want the not safe answer. But but it's not something you've had. <sighs> so it's not safe. Yeah. So it's practice. And you're somebody who is a journey person. Like you like journeys. You like to stretch your imagination. You right. like to stretch yourself into spaces that you're uncomfortable in. Yeah. And so this is a space you've not been comfortable in. That is for sure. And there's something about stability for you that will blossom Some, something else. Happen. Yes. I don't know. But because I think, it's, it, I think it's in that quiet and that security and in that stability that you'll have even more time to manifest this thing that you're working on. Yeah. And that thing can then blow up and, and it blossom. Won't be boring. Nothing about you is boring, honey. Okay, thanks. <laughs> you are not a boring person. Okay. You can have stability. I love having stability. I'm a super stable person, and I gander to say I'm not boring. Anybody who knows me, am I boring? <laughs> okay. Yeah, you won't be boring. You can be stable and not boring at the same time. All right. Okay, thanks for that permission. <laughs> You guys, I just want to share with you my really big want from tonight. And that is that you all walk out of here with just like the, t hopefully some of you watch, walk out with like a torch. But if you don't get the torch, I'd like you to walk out with a match. And maybe you go outside and you light that bitch on fire. And you light yourself up. And you find that little space that feels missing, that feels empty, that feels awkward. And you light it up. And if you're somebody who got the torch tonight and you're like, I'm going to do art, I'm going to shine, I'm going to get stable, whatever it is, get a new job, find your self-worth, whatever it is, I hope you walk out of here with this newfound sense of like, oh, so intuition isn't so woo, it's pretty utilitarian, hey? I can use this every day. You can use this when you're talking to your spouse and he says he's upset about something, you can say, what do you really want? <laughs> What do you love? How do you feel? <laughs> when you're sitting in a board meeting and somebody's handing you an extra job that you don't have energy and time to do, you can say, what do I want? 
How do I feel? Does this fit in my life picture? And ask those questions and maybe find a solution otherwise. Learn how to say no. So what I want, my big want, my big ask for the night, or little ask, whichever category it ends up in, is that everybody kind of walks away with just some new information, a new opportunity on the rise, possibilities. And that maybe one of them is just big enough, small enough, and great enough that you decide to chase it down and do something with it. That's my big want. And if any of you have found yourself in the position that this has been amazing, and you want more, <laughs> you know you can call me. My phone number's in the book. No joke, it's, I put it in the book. <laughs> so <laughs> you can make private sessions, and I do do the psychic stuff, and I do do the talk to the other side stuff, so you're, you're welcome to call me for that. And then I'm drawing out of the two nights. Tonight will be the answer, but it's from both nights. If you put your name in, you can get a two-hour session with me. It's a power sesh. We usually hike, we paint. We bake sometimes, it's just dependent on yours. I never do anything normal because I now own that. I'm not normal, I'm bizarre. But with that, if you enter to win the two hour power session, you get the power session and the star. So you always have that reminder to follow your own star. And last, I do have an upcoming workshop coming up in November. And it's just like this, but two days. And you kind of walk out of there like confident, like, awesome, like you could cut a bitch. <laughs> and like, kill us, right? So sign up for that too. And you can sign up and I won't harass you. I'm not, I don't have time to harass you, but if you sign up, I'll send you information about it. I wanna thank you all again so much for coming here, for exploring, for going into yourselves, for tapping into spaces you might be uncomfortable with. And just imagining, just imagining for one second that you could be and do anything you wanted without a shadow of a doubt. And on that note, birthday girls, and guys who showed up, and girls who are not in the birthday party, <laughs> drink and have cupcakes and let's hang. Love to you all, thank you. Good night, thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs> thank you guys so much. <laughs>